Good, good, good. So guys, thank you so much for being here this evening. What a call we have got for you. So thank you all so much for sharing your wins for the week. And of course, if anybody else comes along to the call, then absolutely just get them to um, share their win if they're in your team. And if you've got any other teamies that aren't here, Again, just go and give them a little poke and tell them to jump on. Um, this is being recorded, so um, you can watch it back on replay as well. So, guys, I'm not going to keep you for ages tonight because um, we've got an incredible speaker and I'm just going to let her do her thing. We have got the most incredible lady, Carly Peace, who is a presidential marketing director, and she has been an inspiration of mine, you know, for years. The story that she's got um, coming from being broke, living in her mum's spare room, being a PT, um, and becoming a millionaire mummy in this business. Um, her story is phenomenal. It's inspiring. So, um, Carl, are you there? There you are, my lovely. Let's unmute you. Hello. Hello, beautiful. Hello, my darling. How are you? Good. I'm absolutely loving Emma Darling's background. I know, I'm isn't like it jealous. <laughs> Love it. I'm like seeing a dipping in and out of the trees. I'm loving it. <laughs> um, so thank you so much for being here tonight, Carly. I'm really grateful for you coming, spending your Wednesday evening with us. Um, I guess I just would love to hand it over to you. Do you want to share your story? Tell us where you came from, you know, what life was like before Juice Plus and then your story through the business so far? Yes, babe, thank you for having me. Um, so I celebrated my nine-year anniversary last Friday, which is absolutely Ooh. mental, mental, like nearly a decade, nearly a life sentence. It's insane. And it is absolutely insane that, you know, I'm still here today. So, so passionate and excited about what we are doing. Like I can honestly say there's like a, an energy in the air at the moment. I know it's the beginning of the year, but I feel like I'm starting again with something like there's this really amazing feeling in the business. And that's one of the things that I love, you know, you don't get that from a, a job, not the kind of jobs that I had that excitement, like never ending growth and things like that. I absolutely love it. Um, but when I started, I was literally a 23 year old child with a child. So I had a little boy who was two, um, like Millie said, I was still living at home with my mom and I was just a little bit lost. Like before that, I'd never any of the jobs that I'd loved, I've, I, I had, sorry, I'd never loved them. Um, and I've always had that, that like fire in my belly to be independent, like literally from very young, I wanted that. Grew up with a single mum. So I watched her never depend on anybody else, you know, and that was like literally so naturally driven into me that that's, that's the way it should be. So literally, as soon as I was 14, I handed on my CVs out everywhere, all the hairdressers that I could. Um, I had a job there as soon as I was 17 on my 17th birthday I was literally waiting at the door at 9am to go and have my driving lessons that I was paying for myself with the car that I'd paid for on the drive like I've always had that drive and it was all right when it was that age you know like working in my teenage years like I was just literally in retail ended up dropping out of college going to work in a call centre and I wasn't like overly panicking about anything I just kind of plodded along for a couple of years and then when I had my little boy I was 21 so much younger than I expected to be and that's when I panicked because like wow you live at home you've got no savings you've got no security for your son you've not done all the stuff that you want to do with your life like it just didn't feel good you know I didn't feel very independent didn't feel like the best mom literally panicking so I've always had a passion for health and fitness that originally when I was younger I wanted to be a PE teacher um and I didn't you know the reason why I didn't do that is I didn't want to put the burden on my mom like the cost of university and all that I actually didn't even have the conversation with her at the time but that was always like a little a little love of mine so I thought right no matter what I'm going to scrimp together the money to be a personal trainer um I didn't even think about the downside of that you know I've got a little boy how am I going to be able to do all the crazy times as a PT and all that stuff I just thought right I, I really need to sort something out I was going to work literally sitting in this call center I got sacked got sacked loads of times guys loads of times got sacked from the call center for dropping calls because I used to sit there and just think what what are you gonna do like it was bad it was bad times um wasn't paying rent, rent or anything so doing this personal trainer course and I seen um juice plus on Facebook through the same as Miller through Kate Raver um, and she just seemed so far away from me like she just looked like she had this looks lifestyle you know she looked like a boss babe and uh, so far away from how I felt at that moment went to an event that was really intimidated uh, because it just sounded too good to be true. Um, but thank God when I got home, like my mum being my mum, I was telling her all about it and she was like, go for it. You know, you've got nothing to lose. 
So it, it had she not been like that, you know, who knows whether I would have actually gone for it at the beginning. But I just jumped in with no big goals. I didn't even know what a goal was then, girls. Like it was, you know, I was, I was a plodder. I didn't really know what was what I was doing. Uh, but I knew that I had nothing to lose. So this, in my eyes, was going to be the little sideline thing alongside me being a personal trainer. Like everyone says, you need to get on the products. Like I was skinny at the time, but you've got to invest something into yourself. The more that you invest into yourself and your business, the better. You know, it pays off because the more products that you use, you naturally share them and talk about them. But originally, I got on the complete shakes and literally within a couple of weeks, I looked better. I was living off as the meals at the time, one pound as the meals. Um, and I looked well better within a couple of weeks and, and everyone could simply see that I put two pictures together like we always say that basic has never changed showing my journey people were inspired started to get good customers in the first month I got 150 quid and I was absolutely buzzing I was absolutely thrilled that was one of my best wages because I was just so chuffed with it I was on my phone I was loving doing this I was loving helping people you know that passion that I wanted from a personal trainer um, and at the time I was working in H Samuel 16 hours a week, 450 quid. I was getting topped up on benefits. So an extra 150 quid was a lot of money to me then. I was so chuffed. Month two, just from sharing the products because I had, I literally was just still nervous about sharing the business. 780 quid in my second month. And I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. So for me, honestly, that first year where, you know, I feel like it was hard work, but it was the best time of my life. I flipping loved it. You know what I mean? As soon as Kyle was in bed, I quit Corey, Holly Oaks and all that jazz. I used to know everyone on there. And um, I quit them and I just couldn't wait to get to work with this. You know what I mean, I'm just sharing these products, sharing these products. And I just absolutely loved it. And then it took me a couple of months to really get into the business. So that's honestly, that was one of my tips to you. Don't hold back. I wasted about five months. Like even when I was speaking to people who I knew would benefit from this, I was like <clears throat> choking on my words, you know, because that, that nervous thing. Uh, but then I went to Dublin got out my own way I didn't know anyone I was the new girl felt like an idiot had to borrow money off my mom I had to get a plane on my own get Kyle looked after pull a sickie at work and go to Dublin and that weekend changed my life that really flipped everything upside down so if anyone's not yet got the ticket for the on fire event at the end of the month I strongly recommend you to because taking it offline to face can be the game changer for you like that weekend walked in like this thinking oh my lord what are these people everyone was dancing and singing and jumping around and I was thinking oh god this is so cringy <laughs> and by the end of the weekend I was like Woo! I'm the cringy like dancer and all that I like, felt part of it but it was that weekend because they got up on stage people were being recognized and someone said they lost count of the amount of millionaire mums that have been made and that was it for me I just seen everyone was normal and I thought what are you doing get home and get to work with this. So I did. I just got out of my own way. I started to think about who could I help. I like helping people, quite a helper. Um, and I just started to look a bit at that way instead of thinking, I need a team member. Who can join my team? Join my team, join my team. Who can I help? You know, and I, and I started to build a business like that. And it went mental. It was crazy. So literally six months in, just mainly from customers at first, I'd earned enough from the business to move out my mum's. Love my mum dearly but she's a foster carer. I'm the oldest of four girls. I wanted some peace and some space. So that was amazing. Like just renting at first, I bought everything brand new and I felt great as a mum, you know, to have that that independence. Um, it felt absolutely amazing. And literally, honestly, it was like a whirlwind girls for that, that like the next part of that year. So we ended up going from um, the beginning of the business to national marketing director in 11 months. Um, I was still working. I'm still working in the job because I was scared. Is this going to last? Is this a little flash in the pan? You know, I'm just going to milk it where I can. My friends were telling me that, oh, it's not going to work. And then it's not going to work turned into, oh, just enjoy it while it lasts. Oh, all those, you know, things that people say. Um, and it got to Christmas and my boss wanted me in on Christmas Eve and Boxing Day. Super early. And I was like, no, I've got a two-year-old. Tough, Carla. Oh, I'm not coming back. And people were talking about me in the office saying, oh my God, she's, she's leaving to sell milkshake on Facebook. Um, and that's what I did. I went away and went national marketing director the next day after I quit my job, which was pretty cool. Um, and honestly, from there, guys, it was just, it's been absolutely insane. So yeah, I've hit that millionaire club mark, which means you know, I have earned a lot of money, but it's what that money's enabled me to do. Um, and from the off, like when, obviously I didn't have, te honestly didn't have like 10 pounds spare in the bank when I started this business. And I was so desperate for my own home. The, the bonus plan wasn't there when I started. 
it came in a couple of months later. And when it did, and I say this to my team all the time, that like you've got to attach that to something that gets your ass out of bed. Like there's literally like 120 grand with a check with your name on waiting for you to pick it up as and when you decide to do that. But for me, desperation was my inspiration. You know, I wanted my own house, really always craved that security. Credit was shocking, terrible. So I couldn't get a mortgage, saved up a couple of the bonuses, still couldn't get a mortgage. I thought I've got no choice. I'm going to have to do it all. And that drove me. So if you've got things that get in your way, sometimes like use that as the fuel to your fire to keep going forward. Um, and I ended up being 25. So two years later, buying my first house in cash, which was just mental, unheard of. Like I don't know anyone else outside of our, our business that's a, that's able to do things like that, which again, is just so much more than the money. It felt amazing and it made me sleep better at night. Um, money wise, again, you're just I, I've just been able to do what you want. Millie was on a call with me um, and the way she said it, I just think was perfectly put because you can talk about the flashy things, right? It's nice to have nice things. Being able to treat yourself to a gorgeous pair of shoes or, you know, I've, I've been able to get two nice cars. I'm not going to tell that story, but it was a funny one the other day. Miller, like, like I've had an X6, I've got a Range Rover convertible, all the fancy stuff. But honestly, it's days like today that I honestly love. Like I just, I pick my son up from school. I take him to school. I don't depend on anybody else. Picked him up. Mum, I want my hair cut. You only had it cut last week. It's a diva. Like even things like that. Like if, if I was on minimum wage, that would be a struggle. Can't just go whipping tennis out all the time. I don't know how people do it. Went and got his hair cut, went and filled the car up with petrol because I knew I've got a busy weekend. Let's do that. And then went to see my nan. I had a gorgeous chat with my nan today, like literally like hit me in the heart of what this business does for you. There's not just been me that's been affected within our business. Like I've been able to give back to my friends and family. Um, and similar to Millie, like one of the biggest things I wanted to do was give back to my mom. She's amazing, my mom. She like fostered, fostered loads of children, um, always put people before herself. And she was doing a cleaning job. She stopped fostering. And doing a cleaning job when I started Juice Plus and I built up a little bit. And in my first year, I really wanted to do something special for her. Um, so just before 12 months I've been in the business, I got her up at the front of an event and I was able to like give her an all expenses um, trip to New York. And she was absolutely made up, you know what I mean, to be able to do that for her. And shortly after, when my income had gone up again, um, I told her to quit a job and she's never done anything like that like that since and I just love watching her now she's so sassy my mom she's not like me at all I'm always in trackers and like hair scruffy on the head and I just love watching her now she's gorgeous and she's glam and she just goes about her days and does what she wants and I pay her a wage I just love seeing her do that and then my nan my nan is literally the queen of my life and she's in that tough position now do you know what I mean she's like in her 80s my granddad's like got bad dementia now and she's his main carer and like when I love going sitting with my nan like today and she humbles me to the ground, like the things that we take for granted and the things that we, you know, we just expect to be able to wake up and do and all that kind of stuff. But if it weren't for my mum having the time freedom that I've given to her, she wouldn't be able to support my nan now the way she does hospital appointments, shopping. Like so that big effect that it's had for my family is literally priceless to me. I absolutely love it. Um, and obviously friendships, like my girls and my team are my best mates. You'll see me with them inside and outside the business, spending time with them, you know, being on a mission together, being part of a community with women who just are on this, like, oh, we're striving to be better. I live for it. I absolutely love it. Um, and my son, you know, he's just the, the security that he's got now. He's got a trust fund already. He's only 11 which will already allow him to buy his first house, which again, I don't want him to have that stress that I had. I've already took that away from him. Um, and the next chapter now, we're about to move into a new house. If any of you follow me on Facebook, it's the longest house wait you've ever seen in the history of house waits. It's ridiculous, <laughs> but it's happening. Hopefully this year, I'm joking. it will literally be in the next few months. And it's stunning. It's just the dream that I had, which would not have been possible for a girl like me without this business. You know what I mean, and it's, just amazing to, to sit here and be this happy about what you do because some people have all the money but they spend all the time at work you know so to be able to have the balance of both the happiness the fulfillment the purpose every day it is phenomenal um and I'm just super excited like I say I feel like we're we're just in this new this new business it just feels so good to be able to say that after all this time honestly where we are right now right at, at right now is phenomenal I'm so excited I mean, that was amazing. I feel I'm so inspired. I got goosebumps about five times and, you know, going NMD the day after you sacked your job off. I mean, that's a, that's the universe going. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, just so many nuggets from that. And I think, 
you know, desperation was your inspiration. I really think that's so powerful. And, you know, turning like the worst things into your life, into the reason why that you need this business and to get to work. And I was similar to you in that I was out of uni, in loads of debt, delivering pizzas. And I was like, what am I doing with my life? And it was like, if I don't do this, then what am I going to do? So very similar situation. So guys, just ask yourself, like, what is your urgency and your desperation for this business? Um, And the fact that you've bought your first home with cash is just so inspiring Carly you know at the age that you were is you know it's it's really next level but it just goes to show that when you apply yourself like you said when you put a photo by a photo and share a healthy living lifestyle that's all we do guys get on that mission you can hear Carly's passion and every single one of you can do the same take you before get on that journey use the products and make it happen for you guys like Carly's no different to you guys we're no different you know it's just about the way that you apply yourself and you use you use these products okay don't just take them use them and show that journey so um just moving on then Carly like um I think you've answered mostly um through all of that because of your amazing achievements but what would you say the like three biggest things that this business has given you definitely oh we've got a motorbike outside um definitely it is secure security for me is massive you know I know everyone's different some people are big spenders but for that first year like when business was going wild when I joined everyone was out buying Range Rovers and going wild and I am I'm not like that I'll treat myself you know what I mean but for me I was still driving around and like my Corsa when I was like nearly PMD was all scratched down the sides and I'm going to events like yes I'm earning all this money and everyone's been watching me like crawl out the car park thinking she's taking she's having a laugh like you've got to, you've got to just ask yourself what is important to you like I crave that security I don't know what it is that was in me from you know they say don't we have all got issues from when we're younger um I had an amazing childhood my mom you know gave me the best that she could but I don't know I watched her struggle like I knew that she struggled I knew that she sacrificed so much to always give us the best you know what I mean and I think I just craved that security massively so I love that the businesses give that to me you know going to to, to sleep with no mortgage or that security and finance behind me is massive to me it's really really important um being able to help other people as well you know it's not just about you if you if, if I'd not started to get out of my own head like I did there's I've got millionaire girls in my team I've got girls who earn more money than me they took over with me I'm proud of that you know what I mean like I've changed their lives massively that is something to be super proud of um so I absolutely love that as well you know it's we've had massive success within the team uh, which I'm super super proud of um, and just honestly loving what you do and I love let's not lie I love like I make five figures a month from doing something that I love I've done that for a long long time it's insane I'm never going to say no to that but it's loving what you do is so so important you know you've got to wake up every day like I said speaking to my nan today and you know just the things that she's upset about at the moment I just think god we we stress about stupid stupid stuff you know we've got this amazing life and opportunity given to us you just can't take it for granted with juice plus like you can't let it be a little opportunity when it could be like the the tick of every single box that you want um I just I like I want to shake people sometimes you know because I'm like how can you be sitting on this so small when it could be so big and not just for you for your friends for your family you know for everyone around you it's just it's just like a gift that keeps on giving oh, I love that so much God, so many goosebumps um yeah you've been so inspiring thanks Carly um okay so just moving on then so one of the reasons that I wanted to get you on the call was because um, obviously because you've got a great story but also like you are so great with your team you've built some incredible systems um, so would love to hear some like top tips about your systems and then also like any for tips that you have about say for example if you if you'd lost your mojo or if you're new in the business how to get off to like a great start um, and just to really get focused on business for this year like what would be your top tips for those things um, right so losing your mojo I've lost my mojo a million times in this business like it, it's so easy to all sound fantastic when you share your story you know what I mean because all the highlights just pop up and it all feels amazing there's been plenty of times where I've had dips within the business I went through a divorce one time that was fun um I uh what else but you know if you get illnesses that knock you off your your mojo sometimes it really knocks you out like with your motivation and um, I had a really tough time last year where we had puppies um, and I lost one of them, and oh my, I'm really into my dogs. I've got four mental, like, lunatic. Um, and we lost one of them last year. And like, you know, you're going to have those times, and you can probably relate to me in some way, shape, or form, whether it's health, um, loss, or something like that. 
but you just always go back to the basics. And I know it sounds so boring and so cliche because I feel like people want this, this amazing secret that the people who earn a lot of money want them to give to you. But it always works. Even after Christmas this year, like drinking too much wine needs to add to like split up with Kylie Rose wine because that relationship was getting far too serious. Um, and I was eating too much everything. It just has a knock on effect. I mean, started watching crap on the telly again. That crept in over Christmas. The bad habits that creep in affect you so much. And it got to the beginning of the year. My Instagram got hacked as well. That was also fun. Um, so these things happened, yeah. And you think, oh God, you feel a little bit lost. And, and the plain old get back to the basics, get back on a journey. I've been on a fitness journey many, many times with over you know the years that I've been in the business. And you know what? Getting back on the plan and our plan and our products like over the last two weeks, I fell in love with them all over again. Like literally, I am buzzing off them again. I'm like, I flipping love how I feel when I do this. So I love having perform now because I think performs give me a little bit of a feels like a, a new bet. I've got a new member of the family around, which I'm enjoying. So like having my complete in the morning, I perform after my workout. I feel incredible. So much better than I did like two weeks ago. And it's just by one habit each day. You know what I mean? You've got to do step by step to give you evolution mojo. So it's all good and well getting on training calls. It's all good and well listening. It's got all good and well reading a book. But it's got to be step, step, step. You know what I mean? You've got to have like reading or personal development or doing something action action like the actions got to follow you can't just feel good and be trusting the universe because you've got to make some moves with it as well you lose your mojo look at yourself and just honestly I always say this is a little simple system for you like ask yourself what is the biggest struggle that you have got right now and nine times out of ten I bet you already know the answer to your problem so what is the biggest struggle or what is the biggest hurdle I am facing right now how is that making me feel and how will it make me feel if I overcome that and then literally give yourself a little step-by-step -step process to get out of that. Okay, to make me get out of this, this problem area, this struggle, what do I need to do more of? What do I need to do less of? What do I need to start doing? And what do I need to stop doing? Simple answers. When I say that to my team on a call, sometimes they go on and go, blah, 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 blah. This is going on. I go, okay, okay, okay. Ask them them questions and they will literally reply to me with the answer to their problem. Well, I need to start taking my products again. I need to start posting again. I need to start inviting people to the opportunity group again. I need to do this. There you go, babe. You know what to do. Yeah, we know what to do. This business is not hard. It's basics. It's consistency. And it's, you know, doing the same things again with the same amount of passion. So ask yourselves those questions if you lose, you know, that you lose your mojo a little bit. Um, also, yeah, I don't know how I actually built that business at the beginning of the like I did. <laughs> it was literally unorganized chaos. Like it was excitement. It was passion. It was enthusiasm. There was no systems in place. I don't know what we were doing. I don't know how we did it, but making things simpler and putting a few simple systems in place has changed everything for your business because it's so much easier to duplicate then. Yeah. All good and well, crazy chaos when you've got loads of excited, crazy people. But when you've got people, you know, who are not so excited and they've came in this for a confidence boost, you need simple systems to support and help them. So just think of each element of the business and have, make sure you know a little system for each one of them. So obviously what is the process in our business? What do we get paid for? Customers. Last night's training and Friday night's training was absolutely insane that the guys went through with the sales. Yeah, absolutely agree. Everyone's nodding. That was mega that. That reminded me, that kicked me up the bum. Like, I fell off that. You know what I mean, I know how to speak to customers and everything, but that was like, bam, that's so flipping good and easy. Do you know what I mean? So that is literally, you've just been given a system in regards to that. But ask yourself, you know, when you've got your customers, how you're looking after them, keep it the same every single time. And it becomes a business and not a scatterbrain. So you got your customer. What are you going to do with them? Got my customer. I know the goal. I know what they want to do. So I tag them in. I have core four steps within our. So what is it you do with your customer? You tag them in the shakes, the recipes. You tag them in the workouts. You know, I know Millie's got a mega group for you. You've got a mega, mega leader there who knows the shit. And she's got, you know, amazing support for you your simple system and then I'll say to them right this is the check-in I have a, a check-in that I send every single Sunday but I send it to them you have to check into me every Sunday yeah so I've give that accountability learn that lesson in the system as well because otherwise if you've got them customers you don't reply every Sunday say it's sending the same thing is quite not good you know what I mean that's the, on them check in every Sunday we check in together Tuesday and Thursday I have a little rapport build flick through my customers and just comment love splash find something to speak about that's got nothing to do with me asking how they're doing if they've lost any weight this week I'm trying to build those relationships yeah so that's the system that's how I work with my customers did a 
obviously the extra support is all there in the customer group for them. Then it's the same with like on your day-to-day -day basis, you know, your income producing activities. Something super simple I love. I always say to the girls on my team, look back on your stories because stories is a super place to be sharing the business, you know, with the polls, all the free tools that you can use. And I would say, make sure that at the end of each and every day, you can look on your stories and you can see P, 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 which is product. You know, you're sharing the products, whether that is a transformation, whether it's you talking about the product, you know, something like that. Presenting the opportunity, whether that is success stories, whether that is inviting to an opportunity to call, whether it is you talking about the business and your personality, because you don't want to see spam, spam, spam all over it. You want dabbles of you in between. So you'll see me messing about with my dogs. You'll see me having a laugh with Kyle. You'll see me in the gym. You know, that stuff that is you. Like the, for the people that you want to attract. So if you can go to bed every night and look at that, you want to a winner. And I put like always trying to have like something to follow up at night. So you get a poll on in the morning. You don't have to sit there all day messing about, time consuming. You follow that up at night. And then I have something at the night time that you can follow up in the morning. You know, for you busy people who've got jobs and stuff like that, that's super important. Um, and then making sure you've got all your skeleton pieces as well. You know, your quick replies so that you you have to be, I always super careful with this one. Like John was saying on the call, don't want to be a robot. You know, you've got to give people a personal experience and speak to them like you are speaking to them. You give it, a, a, you know, you give a care for them. I'm rubbish at speaking sometimes. <laughs> um you've got to care about people but some of the bones are the bones you know what i mean like your quick replies for each product sometimes are really going to help you so you've got quick replies having your shit together in your album so that you're not always messing around looking for things honestly these little things like if you had a good setup sunday if you're not there now sort out your albums so you've got like your shakes customers you've got your product pictures you've got compensation plan um and things like that important bits so when you're having your conversations bam i know where that is Bam, here's my quick reply. And then I add in my personality. Simple systems, you know, that you can you can duplicate and it helps you to be, be feel more professional as well, like a business. And then the same, obviously, with you um, inviting people into your opportunity groups. Massive, massive one, guys. Honestly, there's been a massive shift in my team in the last couple of weeks. Um, some of the girls have started doing a recruitment call. And I know sometimes it just takes a different voice to say it to you than hearing it from your leader. Um, all the time but how many times I bet as Millie said to you this is an opportunity to call guys you need to invite people and you didn't but you probably sat on it and got inspired which is brilliant we're all here for that inspo and, and hearing the stories but that's not what the tool's for the tool is for you to share to invite people into the business you know what I mean so Monday is always a big invite day in our team you need to be sending out invitation messages have your skeleton messages and then put the meat on the bones why are you speaking to that person what is what is the connection there you know give them your personality and then keep it simple i say kick see i say connect invite close yeah so your messages you've got them there you're connecting with them inviting them and then plan the follow-up and honestly just these little things like it sounds like a lot but it's not it's not and you can you can do that like i built my business when i was still working got girls working full-time one of my best girls in my business recruiting going mad at the moment she's smashing it she works full-time she's a single mom it's all about how much you want it you know what i mean and if desperation is your inspiration and you want the next 12 months to be to be much better you've got to do more than you did last year you can't just do the bare minimum you've got to do more so yeah i think i'll give you a few little um a few little hints and tips there of how to um i just said simple systems and simple is the key like i think sometimes we really want this business to be harder than it is and it's not me and John laugh and go like, if it the reason the reason why we've been successful is because we're so simple. I'm like, thanks, John. Like, I don't know if that's a compliment or a slap around the chops, but it is. People want it to be simple, and if you've got systems like that, you can duplicate it with people that bring that you bring in. And remember, that is key. Absolutely love that. So many golden nuggets, and it, it is so true. I remember being at an event down in Farnborough probably 2014 and Emma was there with um, Molly and Molly was only tiny and she was there and she was drawing the circles on the board and drawing the triangles and Emma was like if she can do it you can do it like it's yeah. so true isn't it like anyone can do this business guys just keep it you know basics Overcomplicating things is something that we tend to do a lot of in this in in what we do but it's really you know think about what Carly's just taught us there everything is so like easily done if you get organized with yourself you know doing the albums all of those amazing tips that you've just said to us I've got so many I don't even know which ones to say um but you know I love that you said 
product present opportunity and personality I love that you know showing yourself on social media every single day because like you say you don't want people just to see you as this juice plus spammer buy these shakes like new perform who wants to order like you know how can you help people like Carly said it's a big thing that I come across to my customers it's like what can I do for you what are you struggling Struggling with with? and um sorry about that did you can you still hear me okay yep um yeah so just really think about like how you can you know go out there and help people so amazing tips Carly thank you so much so just to finish off then um tell us what what are you really excited about for 22 what have you got like planned for yourself what are your goals so the house is bigger the house is big bigger I'm so excited like that should be in March now so really just business focused for me I find that um now I've been able to I think the end of last year November times just just took my foot off the gas you know put your hands in the air and say it. I was go I was like going out quite a bit all like recovering from lockdown and going out and I'm being a bit wild and really I when I'm in the zone like this when just doing these simple basics like leading from the front just doing the little basics I'm so happy like in a completely different way of happiness and fulfillment from when I'm in a beach on a holiday or I'm at a glam place that I've gone to or I'm out with the girls it's completely different happiness but it's it's the most like authentic one for me it feels so so good so honestly for 2022 I'm really just in the zone for my business like I've got to keep my head in the right place now to move house there's loads of stuff that I've got to organize I just want to see the girls grow um now so I created there's another little tip as well oh no actually I'm saving that one we're going to on fire next week but (laughs) created like a different can't give you everything Get created like a, a leaders uh, group within my team to create more leaders, if that makes sense. So I kind of lowered the um, the margins for people to get into, and that's created a massive surge in my team. So that this year is like be concentrating on them, you know, to to grow the leaders into bigger success stories for them, and just honestly, just moving into this next phase with with what everything that we've got coming on, we've got we've got new products coming we've got some super exciting stuff coming up like you can't even keep up with our company at the moment can you it's like so it's like so exciting like there's so much going on but just honestly guys if you just think about the next 12 months mine's different now like obviously I don't have that same desperation inspiration so I don't have that massive surge for the money kind of things be dead honest like if I carried on where I'm at I'm really happy with that I'm in a great place financially it's about serving my team now but you've just got to honestly think about the next 12 months because we say it and people think it's so cliche you know you make the next 12 months amazing but you really really can um, like me and Millie were saying the other day you know that first 12 months of pure hard work literally changed my life like that's cheesy but that's the truth the reason why I'm where I am now is because of that first 12 months and I did sacrifice things then you know I was saving money I didn't go out I didn't watch tv this was just my be all focus but I loved it it didn't even feel like I was missing out on anything so just think like ask yourself that now you know where are you at at the end of the year how much do you want to be making each month what kind of impact do you want to make on your team how many people do you want in your team making a part-time income that helps their life making a full-time income so that they're able to leave that job that they hate you know and it's gonna take a higher level it's going to take a high standard from you so all these basics are great you know I hope that you you know you get them to get to grips with them but you know can you be that person who steps it up more than anyone else this year it was all about live events in my first year as well and I was terrified doing some of that stuff I really disliked it I actually had a really nice conversation with my little boy today and um, we were talking about we we started having these really in-depth conversations that like he's 11 now he's like my best mate and um after we'd been to my nan's he was talking about juice plus and he's like you basically get paid to get fit mum don't you I was like yeah it's cool that innit and then we ended up having this really heart to heart and I said no 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 thank you Kyle if it weren't for you I wouldn't have joined juice plus like you were my biggest inspiration and you know just think of the people in your life that you you want to make proud and you want to make that you know that big difference with now because we've just got this this gorgeous life now that I'm so grateful for and I don't really want anything to change. I want it to just stay like this, you know, keep helping people, keep on that journey and just think about the people that you, you know, that you want to do it for because those terrifying things that I was scared to do in the first 12 months, that's what I said to him today. I went a bit off track there. Um, I said to him, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have done it because when I used to be scared to go on stage or do an event and stuff, I honestly used to look at a picture of him and think, right, this is really scary. I was going on stage in front of 3,000 people in my first year in Birmingham to host the whole bloody event I was terrified 
And um, I was like shaking the toilets thinking, I really can't do this. And I looked at a picture of him and I thought, this is why you're doing it. No, you can do it. Do you know what I mean? You have to scare yourself into bigger things. You know what I mean? Like doing the bare minimum, like is not going to get you big, massive success in this business. You have to go that further mile. You have to speak to more people, be the person with the marker, be the person who starts doing events again. You know, if you really want it, I promise you it's scary, but it's so, so worth it. Wow. Thank you so much, Carly. That was that was amazing. And it's so true. You've just got to just get out of your own way and really think about what you want and have that why. Like you can really feel that why with you, Carly, like talking about your son and like how cool is it that he sees you doing that, that, he, that you've created this lifestyle through, first of all, being super fit and healthy, like what an inspiration you are to him and how that's going to impact his life. Um, but also, like you said, that trust fund that you've set up for him is just, you know, it's just magic. This business is magic. And do you know what? I still wake up every day and I have to pinch myself to think that I don't have to get in my car and go to work and do a job that I hate it's it's a real gift and and you know like you say it, it's it's here for everybody um and you just gotta get to work so thank you so much for your honesty your authenticity you're just so real and uh, sharing your story of us tonight it's been just incredible so guys can you give it up for carly in the in the comments box and just you know give her some love it was absolutely incredible and um, we can't wait to see you carly on the 29th in liverpool um, tell everybody so why should people get to liverpool Honestly, like I said at the beginning, like girls, it's it, you can't explain it. You know what I mean? You get major FOMO if you're not there for a start. Like you see everyone there, the content, you know, the team pictures. Make sure you get some stuff like that as well. You know what I mean? For your social, your team pics together, showing people that you are there. It just brings absolutely like, everything to life. And I do feel like this event is is much more it's different than the conventions. You know what I mean? The conventions, we've got loads of recognition in there, and there's like the um, you know, the more corporate side of things and all that but John we all love John right he's like our Jesus he's just absolutely amazing he's just I just adore him I absolutely love the bones of him because he's so really he'll probably have flip-flops on and shorts or something ridiculous and he just brings what we are about to life and you feel a part of it do you know what I mean and he makes you realize like you know anyone can do it if you if you really put the work in he's always been, been my biggest inspiration and cheerleader and you've got to be there to feel it ar around it and the how to this event is much more how to you know how to build your business rather than just inspiring you so I think that is super super important and I heard a little thing as well today just to leave you with a little quote and I thought no like they say be the energy that you want to attract and I seen this quote when I was looking for something that said be the person that you want to find and I think that is literally hits the nail on the head for our business. Like if you could go away tonight and think, but I just need to be the person that I want to find for my business. Yeah. How do they show up? What do they do? They definitely go to events. <laughs> they definitely go to events. That person that you want to find will be right there by your side. So honestly, you'd be, you'd be crazy to miss it. The price of it's insane as well. People travel all over the place. You know what I mean, so all excuses are equal. Um, you know, you've just got to be there to feel the magic. Amazing. Thank you so much, Carly. Like what an incredible call. Like I am inspired to the core. Um, you've been amazing. Um, can't wait to see you at the weekend. Thank you for yes. everything. And just congratulations on your nine years and another amazing nine years to come and the rest. For sure. Thank you so much. Uh, Thanks girls for having me. Thank you so much, Carl. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. We'll see you all soon.